I'm Larry. This is my brother, Daryl. And this is my other brother, Daryl. <laughs> what can I do for you, fellas? We was wondering if you'd hang one of our promotional flyers here at the inn. We're trying to give our cafe business a kick in the get-along. <laughs> this Thursday is blood type O night. <laughs> oh, Larry. Read on, it gets better. <laughs> to all folks with the aforementioned fluid coursing through their veins, free beverage with your meal. <laughs> Larry, I really don't think this is going to attract many people. Well... Daryl did a lot of research, and type O is the most popular blood. Hi, guys. Afternoon, Miss Stephanie. Would you do us the pleasure of dragging your lovely bones over to our cafe this Thursday? Veins, blood, beverage, ooh. Daryl, this is the last time I let you mount an advertising blitz. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, guys. Michael! Steph. Oh, my God. Something terrible has happened to your income. He was fired. <laughs> if you're looking for employment, it's become apparent to us that we're in dire need of a media consultant. <laughs> well, guys, I'm honored. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, I'm strictly a, a broadcast animal. Well... If you change your mind, we're confident you can make the crossover to the print medium. <laughs> Hi, I'm Larry. This is my brother, Daryl. And this is my other brother, Daryl. Hi, fellas. Miss Joanna, rumor has it that you're conducting a yard sale Saturday. And we was wondering if we could sell some of our unusables. Like what? Well, Daryl has a whole stack of them romance novels. He's just a slave to them harlequin people. <laughs> Other than that, just assorted odds and ends. Well, I, I don't see anything wrong with it yet. <laughs> Much obliged. What is this? Whittling art. It looks like a pointy stick. Well, it started out to be a chair, but Daryl kind of overworked it. <laughs> Your sales volume seems to have outstripped ours. What do you think it is, location? Actually, fellas, it's more a matter of technique. Watch. My goodness. Is that pre-Columbian art for $10? These three must not know what they have. I wish my wife was here with the checkbook. Honey? Uh, I'll take it. Uh, here's $10. Sorry. All right, 20. No, ma'am. You've been led down the path of deception. <laughs> You're welcome to that, but it ain't no pre-Columbian nothing. Well, what is it? It's a gallstone from a bear. <laughs> They're real hard to come by. <laughs> Look awful nice on your whatnot shelf. Guys, 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 I set it up. You didn't close. That's, that's not good business. We just couldn't. What you said was dishonest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. You know, there's another fella outside doing the same thing. <laughs> Yeah. We was having a similar problem over to the cafe till Daryl here started checking them little dates on the milk. <laughs> we understand you bought yourselves some final comfort zones for when you and the lovely Miss Joanna croak. Yeah. Well, when we heard that, we bought us some rot spots. <laughs> we just got back from giving them a look-see. <laughs> What did you guys do? Try them on? No. We just stood on them and sank in. That's to be expected in a swamp. A swamp? Yeah. We was pleasantly surprised, too. Oh, great. I got hardly a job selling, selling graves in a, in a swamp. I better call them. Well, tell him thanks for us. <laughs> This is my brother, Daryl, and this is my other brother, Daryl. Hi, guys. You are all invited over to our place to help celebrate the most significant event in our adulthood. What, 
What are you talking about? <laughs> We're rich. Where did you get all that money? Won it in a nationwide jingle contest. You wrote a jingle? Well, not me. Daryl here's the tunesmith, and Daryl here's the wordsmith. Well, what did you do, Larry? I'm the one that said it should be reggae. <laughs> It's a team effort. I spark Daryl, Daryl sparks me. Daryl sparks Daryl, Daryl sparks Daryl. Daryl sparks me, I spark... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Would you like to hear our award-winning composition? Feel free to dance and go crazy. One, two, one, two, three, four. Poppity pop, poppy, poppity pop, poppy, little cloud pop, corn pop, poppity pop, poppy, poppity pop, poppy, big and firm and hot. Crunchy crunch, crunchy, crunchy crunch, crunchy, stuff it down your face. Swallow, 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 swallow. Loud is the best place anywhere, any place. How much did, did you win for that? $30,000. And, and they, they say life isn't fair. Well, way to go, guys. What are you going to do with all that money? We ain't decided yet, but don't worry. We ain't going to let it go to our heads. All this money ain't going to change us one iota. Come in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Larry. This is my brother, yeah, Dave. I've, I've had the pleasure, guys. <laughs> Maybe you could help us. We've been having a fiscal ruckus over our winnings. So far, the only thing we've been able to agree on is to buy these chapeaux. Well, I, I can see why that would be unanimous. Uh, what, what are you arguing about? Well, Daryl thinks we should bury the money, and Daryl thinks we should move to Kansas City. He heard they got some crazy little women there. Well, that... Uh... Kansas City idea has merit. <laughs> but uh, you, you probably should put it in a bank. You know, it'd be safe and, and it, would, uh, it would get you about 10% interest. Your money would earn about $3,000 a year. Hold on. They're gonna stash our money for us and pay us too? Right. <laughs> well, that's just weird. I don't know if we could trust our funds with somebody exercising that kind of judgment. Well, they're... Uh, bonds, stocks, securities. Free money with those two? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what you could do. You could uh, spend a little of it to kind of improve the quality of your lives. We already got the hats. Hi, Dick. Oh, my goodness. Look who's here. Heard the news, fellas. Congrats times three. Well, thank you, Cubed. <laughs> May I put a bug in your ear? Sure. <laughs> Michael Harris Productions. TV pilots are one of your top investment values. If this takes off the way I think it will, you'll be earning 20, maybe 30% interest. Free money? Bushels of it. Come on, Daryl. <laughs> it's a sad day when TV people are no more reliable than a bank. <laughs> Hi, I'm Larry, and this is my other brother, Daryl. Hi, guys. Where, where's your brother, Daryl? Last night, we had a big altercation about the money. This morning, when we got up, Daryl was gone, and so was his third of the winnings. We're thinking it's more than coincidence. Oh, no. Yep. In one fell swoop, we lost a brother and a lyricist. We'll be right back with more easy listening after this important message. We're just being mocked by our own success. <laughs> oh, we thought you were Daryl. Never realized how many people in this world aren't him. Yeah, you'd be surprised by the statistics. <laughs> this is uh, Constable Shiflet. Hey. Yeah, I... 
Th thought he might be able to help you find Daryl. I hope so. It's lonely without him. Now we know how the Supremes felt when Diana Ross left. <laughs> To check his usual hangouts? Yeah, he ain't here. <laughs> okay, what about a description? Well, the clothes he was wearing are kind of like Daryl's here, loose-fitting, but complimentary. <laughs> uh, he's got straight, skunk black hair, penetrating eyes, sturdy build. Let me put it this way. When they were passing out looks, he was the first in line. <laughs> That's why he's called the face. <laughs> His favorite movie is It's a Wonderful Life. Well, sounds like if I find him, I'll like him. Hi, I'm Larry. We think this is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. Well, let's, let's have a look. See, don't that look like him right there? You, you mean the guy dancing with the first lady? <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. Why not? Just call it instinct. Oh. Sorry to be such a downer on Christmas card eve. You guys weren't over at the cafe, so I tracked you here. I think I may have a lead on the face. Two officers up in Stowe answered a disturbing the peace call last night. From the description, sounds like it might be our boy. Here's the address. Thanks a bunch. Will you go with us? What, what, what for? We ain't got a car. We could lend you our car. I'll... I'll go with you. Whoa. The decline of Western civilization. This is uh, the kind of place you know you're not going to meet an Osman. Hey, new blood. This is Daryl's place. He's falling in with some real offbeats. <laughs> Food's over there. Bar stocked. Go for it. <laughs> We're looking for my brother, Daryl. Daryl? Oh, you mean Face. <laughs> hey, Face! We're gonna mix all the drinks together and chug a lug it, no matter what color it is or how it smells. You guys want to join us? Excuse us, would you fellas go now? Why? Because if you don't, Daryl and I are going to mix you together no matter what color you come out or how you smell. Oh. Come on, let's go spit off the roof and time it. <laughs> Daryl, is that you and them high heel sneakers? Blue suede shoes. <laughs> Here's with your old face and no brains. I don't step on them blue suede shoes. I, uh, come on, come on, guys, come on, break it up. Daryl, I don't even know who you are. Look at all this wanton waste. A block of ice that ain't cooling a thing. Food you'd find in a sissy's lunchbox. Come here. You know darn well champagne loses its fears in one of those things. <laughs> Daryl, you got caviar in your ears? I give up. Daryl, you talk to him. Implements a seduction. I can't talk to him. Larry, if, if you don't talk to him. Would you try? I'm mad enough to stomp bunnies. <laughs> Daryl, the, the reason we're here is because your, your brother really wants you to come back. What, what the heck is that? <laughs> Does everybody here have a streak of decadence but me? <laughs> Oh, 
Daryl, I, I know that all of this seems like fun now, but, I mean, is this the way you, you want to spend the rest of your life? It's been fun, Faith. Call me. I can't talk to him. Daryl, get your stuff and come with us, and all will be forgot. I don't care if you throw away all your money. Just don't throw away your family. Daryl, Daryl, remember your favorite movie, It's a Wonderful Life? Remember what it had to say? Money don't make you wealthy. Brothers do. Or was that bonanza? <laughs> anyway, it's true. Are you coming? couldn't get him to come back. Is Daryl all right? Well, he's flying headlong to perdition on the road of hedonistic decadence. Other, other than that, he's, he's fine. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to go through the rest of our life a day late and a Daryl short. <laughs> but don't let us hose down your holiday spirit. Just go on with your singing. Is there anything special you'd like to hear? Have you sang Old Lang Syne? Not since I got here. <laughs> Should old acquaintance be forgot and ever brought to mind? Should No, that's yours. I don't understand. Who are these people? Allow me. Hi, I'm Larry. This is my brother, Daryl. And this is my other brother, Daryl. Oh, yeah. yeah. Time for the picture. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Guys, do you want to join us? Here, honey, put this on. Honey, why don't you just set me on fire? <laughs> okay, everybody get into place. I'm going to focus this here. All right. Okay, All right. everybody. Yeah. Watch the birdie. Well, Daryl, you blew $5,000 in three days. I hope it was worth it. 